Where are those blow-ups of Superman? Uh, lab's backed up, Chief. Turnaround might be a couple hours. Turnaround? Oh, great shades of Elvis. What are we here, the Daily Planet? Or second stringers from the Weehawken Gazette? All right, staff meeting tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. With blow-ups. No, the color's wrong. More almond-shaped. You said brown. Yeah, but not brown-brown, not dull, insipid mud-brown like Clark's. No offense, Clark. Mud? More vibrant, more radiant. Bedroom eyes. But hey, if he is an alien, maybe he doesn't get the old, you know, itch. <laughs> One way to find out. A possible visitor from another planet arrives on Earth, and all you can think of is hauling him off to your lair to try him out? Test drive, Lois. A couple hours behind the wheel, and I'd know for sure if we're talking import or domestic. Uh, no, the features are too coarse. Think noble. Think a Greek god. A Greek god? For example, the chin. It's square, but not plain. The chin of a man who stands for something. My heart. This is Superman we're talking about, not some Tom Dick. Ugh. You know, he didn't seem that special to me. I mean, except for the flying and the uniform, he could be any ordinary guy. Ordinary? Give me a break. What we've got here is an example of human evolution, before and after. Clark is the before, Superman is the after. Make that the way, way after.